Right. Here we go. A couple of weeks ago, uh, on an unusually sunny day, um, I got the Kukam 3 Ultra onto my bike just to see how it went. Really do think it's a bit heavy uh, to use as a conventional action camera, but here we are on Slapton Line. And so I'm going to rab it on uh, while you can judge for yourself uh, what you think about the quality of these pictures. Following my uh, previous observations in the previous uh, video about editing with Coolcam Studio, I think my opinions are very much the same, even though I did find out and uh, rectify my <coughs> deliberate mistake. All this video has been uh, edited, well, the clips created in Coolcam Studio and then I've assembled it uh, in Final Cut Pro, as I do with most of my videos. One thing that I've been playing with, and I think it's probably the way I will go, is I've used using Qcam Studio to stitch the images together, and then shovel it over into Insta Studio to actually create the individual clips. That seems to work really well. And it's quite easy, even though it is one extra, one extra, yes, uh, process, bit of the process. As you come into Tow Cross, you see the tank from the uh, D-Day landing exercises. And if you're at Tow Cross, you've got to come and look at the ducks, swans, Canada geese. Before you get back on the bike and carry on your journey. So overall, having had the camera for quite a while now, well, a couple of months, I think I'm very pleased with it. Still very pleased with it. I think the picture quality for a 360 amateur camera is excellent. It's not an action camera. It's a bit heavy uh, for bouncing up and down on the bike, but it's done a decent job. I think, uh, with these pictures, so certainly you could use it for something relatively straightforward like this. I wouldn't use it for anything <coughs> more exerting than this particular journey. Anyway, if you got this far and uh, had a look at everything, thank you very much for watching. Um, let's see what I do next time. Bye for now. Bye-bye.